now coming to the inversion of single slider crank kinematic chain okay so in this four bar mechanism only if you replace one of the link with a slider you will get single slider crank kinematic chain now because this has got four links if i am fixing different links one link at a time i will get different inversions and in this particular case i will get four different inversions in the previous case in case of uh, four bar kinematic chain simple four bar kinematic chain we got just three inversions but in this particular case we will got we will get four different inversions so the very first inversion is when the cylinder is fixed so when the cylinder is fixed as you can see here the rotary motion is getting converted to reciprocating motion or you can say the reciprocating motion is getting converted to rotary motion okay so this particular mechanism has got two different application first is from rotary to reciprocating in case of reciprocating compressor and second is from reciprocating to rotary in case of reciprocating ice engine so these are two different mechanisms in which we can use this particular inversion in which the cylinder is fixed next is the inversion in which the crank is fixed as you can see here so if i am fixing the crank now uh, initially when when i was fixing the cylinder if i am giving the reciprocating motion to the slider that was getting transferred to the crank but in this particular case i am fixing the crank only and i am freeing the cylinder the blue colored cylinder is now freed now what will happen if i am fixing the crank and i am giving reciprocating motion to the slider that motion will ultimately transfer to the blue colored link or the cylinder okay so that cylinder will also rotate okay first thing second very important thing here you can see the connecting rod is rotating about one point okay at one end of the crank the cylinder the blue colored cylinder is rotating about other point the other end of the crank that means the center of rotation of connecting rod and the cylinder is different okay and they are attached together at a point so whenever there is two links which are having different center of rotation if they are attached at a point there will be a sliding motion between them okay so the slider is sliding onto the cylinder okay and this particular mechanism is used in whitworth quick return mechanism Se first thing and second it is used in rotary ice engine so we have got two different application of this particular mechanism first is whitworth quick return mechanism and second is rotary ic engine in next case in next inversion we are now fixing the connecting rod so as you can see here if the connecting rod is fixed okay now what will happen if the crank is now if if crank is rotated then it will uh, give oscillating motion to the cylinder because the connecting rod is now fixed so when the crank is now rotated it will produce an oscillating motion to the cylinder and this particular mechanism has also got two different application first is crank and slotted lever mechanism which is also a quick return motion mechanism and second is oscillating cylinder engine getting this so when the connecting rod is fixed you are getting two different mechanisms first is crank and slotted lever mechanism and second is oscillating cylinder engine okay last is the case last in last inversion we will fix the slider okay so when the slider is fixed you will get the mechanism like this and this particular mechanism is used in pendulum pump pendulum pump or in simple language you can call it as hand pump which we use in our daily life so this particular mechanism is used in the hand pump when you are fixing the uh, the, the slider okay so i will repeat it again in the very first inversion when the cylinder is fixed we will get two different application we will get two different mechanisms first is reciprocating ic engine second is reciprocating cylinder second is the case when the crank is fixed and we will get two different mechanisms first is whitworth quick return motion mechanism and second is rotary ic engine okay when connecting rod is fixed again we will get two different mechanism first is crank and slotted lever mechanism and second is oscillating cylinder engine and last is the case when the slider is fixed i will get one mechanism and that is pendulum pump okay so in this way we are having four different inversions in this single slider crank chain we are having four different inversions but total number of mechanisms which we are getting is seven To get complete video lectures of GATE, IES and SSCJE Mechanical Engineering branch, download our free application GATE Lectures for Mechanical from Play Store. To continue getting preparation related videos on YouTube, subscribe our channel along with bell icon to get regular notifications.